Good morning, everybody. This is Becky here at Aunt Bex Creations. Excuse the voice. I'm just getting over the big C. And I may start coughing, and it might sound gross, but I wanted to come on and share my Doodle Border book that was started in 2019. Because last night, during Mary's Live last night, she has started a new composition book project of doing the doodle borders because she wants to have all of her borders in one book. So if you did not do this with me a few years back, you can join Mary in starting a new book. Um, hi, Janet. So I thought I would do a flip. Um, Mary's borders looked awesome that she did last night. And I also thought if you wanted to grab a piece of paper, you could write down the borders that I've already done. Um, that maybe you could get a jump start on your book. Um, if not, you can wait and work along with Mary, which is awesome. I love that I inspire others to, you know, repeat or redo projects. Um, because we all reach a different demographic of collection of people, rather. Not really. We're, it, it's basically the same people, but it's not necessarily the same people. Um, because I know, um, hang on. My larynx gets really tired real easy. So this is not going to be long. Anne was mentioning Al John, and I've known Amy for years, and I thought everybody did. She has, Amy has over 70,000 subscribers. So if you are not subscribed to Amy, where, what do you like? I mean, come on, get on over to Amy. Amy does a lot of real frugal crafting. She has a whole series on shopping the Dollar Tree. Um, for your supplies and tools. So anyway, let's do this flip before I lose my voice. But I did want to start trying to get back into doing a video, um, short ones. And um, I'll see how well we do here. <laughs> All right. So these were my borders. Um, I call this a uh, racetrack, uh, racetrack flag. And then there's flowers and wavy words. And these were supposed to be, hmm, maybe balls or balloons. I'm not sure, um, but it looks cool. And then these were circles within circles. I love this one, the hanging hearts. And this is just a squiggle border with hashtags and dots. And that's a vine. Vines are always fun to do. And Janet's saying that she did the project with me. So that was awesome. And again, I forgot to turn the, um, the autofocus off. I'm out of practice. You mean just missing a week. It's like you forget how to do things. Crazy. I'm coming in a little closer too. All right. Now, recently I did go back through my book and I have colored, I think, all of my borders now. So here we've got candy, hanging stars, barbed wire, hearts on a vine, larger leaves on a vine. This is just an angled black and white stripe. Birthday candles. Those were fun. Grapes on a vine. And for some reason, I've worked, so I have to flip the, I can't just flip through it. I have to flip it up and down, too. So, buttons. Um, I'm not sure what we were doing here. Maybe sunshines? Or, I don't know. That one's got a nose, so I don't know. Um, and I did start... Um, this says Janet, I think this says Janice, Susan, Sherry, Susan. So I did start recording who recommended them. 
And then we've got hearts again, and then squares in a square with alternating colors, um, boards, cats, spaceships, arrows. I could put the borders I've already done in the description box. I'll take time and type them in. That way you'll have the list of the ones I've done. And you can, as Mary's doing them, you could just use that list so that you don't repeat things. Um, sunflowers. Uh, um, Tic-tac-toe. A tic-tac-toe border. These are supposed to be hot air balloons, but I think they look like pepper shakers. So whichever you want to call it. Um, threaded needles. Cups of tea doorways, ladybugs, um, party lanterns, and owls, which I think Mary did owls last night. These are feathers, seashells, squirrels, teapots, mice, fern, and snails. Those were all fun to do. And then I drew some of the larger images. Uh, robots, bears, uh, beach shore, sea turtles, paint brushes, musical notes. Mary did musical notes last night. Um, uh, dot, alphabet, jelly beans. And then these I did with Mary. Um, this is part of her state's capital building, I think. And I'll be right back. Look at this page. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I didn't think you'd want to hear me cough along up. Anyway. <laughs> Hi, Carol. And Sherry and Joyce. So, yeah, I just had to run to the back so you didn't have to hear me. <coughs> well, I don't know if I'm done yet. Anyway, Fire Hydrants, River City, Deborah. Um, she recommended that one. And acorns, um, apples, I think, because I think we were doing a back to school. There's ABCs and one, two, threes. I loved doing the paint buckets. The paint buckets were a lot of fun. Um, balloon letters, because we were talking about the 1970s letters. Hi, Journey. Hi, Kimberly. Um, pencils. I love inchworms. They're so cute. And again, I did write y'all, whoever recommended it, Kathy B. and Janet and Mitz, Malia, uh, Sharon Lombard, Mina. And then we were doing the, um, we were talking about doing these 
remember the 70s or six late 60s, early 70s? Um, the bubble letters. Hang on, I gotta get a sip. Sorry, guys, this virus really affects your larynx badly. So bear with me. I might sound weird this week, but I'm going to try. And then we got back to borders here. So we did, um, I think we were hitting up on Labor Day or something. Cheryl said picnic baskets. Um, I didn't write down somebody's name here, but this is supposed to be fireworks. Sharon Lombard recommended ants. So I have some fat little pudgy ants. Um, Mina said leaves. So I did maple leaves. Well, they're supposed to be maple leaves. Hi, Janet Burgess. Um, Arlene said the American flag. So I did. It's not an exact American flag because there's not enough stars and stripes. But I tried. I've got to sit down. Wow. Um, watermelon by Janet and Kathy B said hot dogs but when I colored these in and I made them I tried to make them the correct colors um the browns were so close that you can hardly see my hot dogs but I tried and then ice cream cones was a mitts recommendation and then definitely back to school here. We got old timey telephones, um, staplers. Oh, wait. Um, the old timey telephones and the staplers were both um, suggested by Janice G, Janice Glines. And then Sharon Lombard said um, weather symbols. So we got a sunny day, a partly cloudy day, a rainy day. A snowy day, a cloudy day, a stormy day, and a windy day. Um, then Joyce recommended doing school buses. So we have little school buses. Janice Glines recommended tape dispensers, which they are more difficult to draw than you think they would be. Just getting that, that curvy slope was difficult. Um, Joyce recommended hoodies so we got a row of hoodies Janice Klein said do a lamp and I love the Pixar lamp so I kind of Pixar desk lamp and then the cars I don't have anybody's name next to those but those were fun to do too and then back to some that I did with Mary um because you know Mary likes all the um, geometric and angular lines and things. So these were done with Mary. And then here we go. We got um, these here were also done with Mary. And then here I gave up and wrote UG. So then this was an interesting little thing. I don't remember where we were doing these out of, where there was a combination. It was Art Deco something, and then that was an Art Deco thing, and then this was kind of like a, a buried vine with leaves and berries, and then just some autumnal pumpkins, then back to borders. And some of these have y'all's names and some don't. So we got lunch boxes, paper clips, penguins, Janice Klein's. The yarn balls were by Violet. And then Lisa said, do um, leaves in the wind. So the blue lines rec re represent the wind. Hi, Nettie. You're a lurking. Okay, I thought it said you are a lurking human. So I was like, I hope you're human. You might not feel it if you have the same crap I've had, but um, I'm glad you're here. The sugar skulls were Janice Klein's. Kathy B said squash. And then Mina said do umbrellas. So we did little umbrellas. Oh, and I thought I'd colored everything, but I must have stopped. 
I still have some coloring to do. And when I color these, sometimes those super tips will go through. So I just put this paper in between. But I'll show you these and then I'll color them later. So Beth said diamond rings or rings. These remind me of those ring pops. So I could color those stones, fruity flavors. Um, Isla, hey, we haven't seen her. Has anybody seen Isla? I-S-E-L-A? We have not seen you in a long time. So if you happen to watch this video, please pop a comment in the down below so that I know you're okay. But she recommended bats. And these are supposed to be hummingbirds by Deborah, which is probably River City. But um, they don't look too much like hummingbirds to me, but I will try again because i got room for two or three more. Um, Janet recommended scarecrows, and at least these look more crow-like. These are crows, and that was recommended by Janet. Oh, jack-o'-lanterns by our Holly. Rest in peace, Holly. We miss you. And then Janice said donuts. And then Violet said teddy bears. And this is what happens when you don't kind of judge your distance. So that bear doesn't have a head and this bear doesn't have legs. And then I finally got the size about right. Okay, so I'm just going to turn this paper because it's just my in-between pages. <coughs> All right, I think these are supposed to be roses, and it says Diane. And these are barns with a fence and some trees. That's Violet. And Deborah said fish. And then Christy, I think we were doing scary houses here, like Halloween houses. And then Beth, I think think this is supposed to be sand dollars? I didn't write over here what it was. Susan had um, candy corn. Had to be Halloween, you guys, when we were doing this. Mitt said ghosts. I don't know how I'll color those. Um, I think on that. And then Janet said pretzels. And that's something I've been craving since I've started feeling better is a, one of those in the mall pretzels, what are they called? Um, Aunt Susan, Aunt, what is the pretzel place that's in the mall? Hi, Kathy. <coughs> Sorry, can't do any too loud a voice. All right, so let's turn the page. And I got Mina said, do some skeletons. So I got goofy. I've got one skeleton is crawling on his hands and knees, and they're, these, they're dancing a jig. Violet said, do bowler hats? Hi, Ian. So I tried to do a bowler hat. They're not very good, but I tried. And then Angels by Mina. I need to finish the row of Angels. M&Ms by Beth. And these spiders are just weird, but... It just says spiders, but I didn't say who gave me the idea. Witches hats, which again, this is one of those where you need to kind of, I mean, it looks okay, but if you're trying to make a border, you need to think about your perspective and your spacing so that you're in your border. Although it does kind of look cute that they are off a bit. Um, brooms and cauldrons. Here I thought I'd gone through and already colored all of these. Wishful thinking. Baskets, pies, turkeys, and goblets of wine, which the goblets of wine will be fun to color in. And then I was going to start us doing lettering, different lettering. So we've got lettering with just... Um, I don't know what you'd call that. Angled lines that are wider and thicker. Now you could color these in and it would look cool. Um, then I did this one where I did the angled lines, but then I did lines in it because um, Barb Owen did this one time. 
she was showing some lettering. It's the lines in where you make a fat back on all your pieces and then put lines. And I really like that. <sighs> Have to take a break. Hang on. And I was working on a sign. I think I'm going to do a sign for my sister's pottery room. I might still do that for her. All right. And then I started doing um, twinchies in here. It looks like where we were doing just doodling squares, which if you want to learn Zentangle, Divide your page up like this and practice a different Zentangle in each one. And by the time you're done, you'll have learned a whole bunch of these. And I think that's it, maybe. And then we did some creative lettering a little bit. So I think that is all of them. So I'll turn back to one of these that's facing you guys that's colored. Let's do this page because I love my snails. So anyway, that's my border journal. And if you want to start a fresh journal with Mary, I think she's doing what like I did in here, the width of her ruler. If you just put your ruler down and draw on each side of it, you can create a page of borders and then just do them each, each time. So... I'm about out of voice, and Scott's back from the Veterans Hospital, so I think I'm going to let you guys go, <coughs> because I'm on the verge of another coughing fit, and I don't want to run to the back again. All right? Hi and bye, Ruth. My voice is done. It's done. <laughs> so I'll talk to you guys. Maybe tomorrow I'll do another short video. And um, definitely Wednesday, I want to do our next owl. So thank you all for hanging in there and sending me so much love and well wishes. Love y'all. Bye. Love y'all like chicken.